There we go. That's, oh, babe, I can hear it sizzling. I smell it. That Bubbling. is. Bubbling. Babe's getting ready for a thumbnail. That looks very good. It smells very good. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today I know I'm super excited. We got ourselves a Ninja Foodie XL Smart Pressure Cooker Steam, I don't even know the name of it. This is the new Ninja Foodie Hotness, available at Costco, Amazon, we put a link below. It's the new Ninja Foodie, the upgrade to our old Ninja Foodie. Oh yeah, I'm very excited. This is like yeah. the end all be all, I don't know what else. Of kitchen gadgets. Yeah, like this throw thing, away everything, you just need this. It's pretty cool. It does pressure cooking like an Instapot. It's an air fryer. It like grills and broils. It steam, it's, I don't even know all the features. It steam fries. It, it poofs bread. It dehydrates. It does a lot. It sautés. It does a lot of stuff. You can make jerky in it. Yeah, it's really, really it's cool. It's amazing. This is the new Ninja Foodie Hotness. Okay, so what are we making today, babe? Today we're gonna make creamy tomato soup. Mm. As it's getting colder, I mm. know you love you some tomato soup. Tomato soup is good. And we're gonna do grilled cheese croutons. I found the recipe in the Ninja Foodie cookbook, but I'm gonna put my spin on it, of course. So creamy tomato soup, grilled cheese croutons, babe's little spin on it, all in one device. Oh, yes. It's actually fairly easy. I've already been cutting the onions because it calls for two onions. And... Yeah, I know. My yeah. eyes are swollen shut from those onions. All right, babe, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, and here we go. go. Okay, so before we get started, I'm really, really excited about this because you can just use this for everything. So there's a link below if you want to check it out. And I want to tell you again what it's called, okay, because I have to get this down. <laughs> The Ninja Foodie XL Pressure Cooker Steam Fryer with a lid. What? What? Because the old one that we had, if you pressure cooked, you had to put a second lid on, and now it just all is in one. Yeah, baby. Okay? That's awesome. And it also has a broiler underneath. Yeah. Which we will be using that today. That thing is very cool. Okay, let me just turn it on and show you exactly what it does. Here you are. You have air fry, broil, bacon roast dehydrate proof and that is when you put bread in there and it has to like it has to rise sear saute steam sous vide we can get rid of the sous vide slow cook and i mean you can make yogurt so it really is i mean I, this isn't an infomercial they did not send this to us we actually want it but let me tell you this thing is the jiggity jam and everybody needs to get one <laughs> because it will save you so much room in your kitchen that's all Okay, guys, you're learning with us. So in here it says we're going to turn it over this way. Oh, that's steam crisp. And this is air fry stovetop. We're going to go over to sear, saute, and we're going to move it down to four. Oh, maybe there. Four and hit start. It's going to take about five minutes to preheat. So while that's preheating, I'm going to give you the ingredients. Okay, babe, let's see the ingredients. Okay, here's what we have. We are using two cans, 28 ounces, each of San Marzano fire roasted organic style whole tomatoes. So I'm going to blend these up in my little ninja chopper. You guys all know how much I love that. We have heavy whipping cream, crushed red pepper, eight cloves of garlic, two whole onions. Which I already did all the dirty work on you the did garlic the dirty work, and the onions. But my eyes are burning from those <laughs> onions. That must have been rough, babe. Worcestershire sauce. And then we have our sourdough bread. We're using a sharp cheddar, sharp white cheddar, shredded Parmesan. And I went ahead and I grabbed some rosemary and some um, fresh basil from our little garden outside. Yeah, babe. Because, you know, we're gardeners. Yeah, there you go. All right, let's make soup. Okay, babe, so what's the plan? All right, so I'm just going to get these tomatoes out here and I'm going to crush them up. So if you really, I mean, realistically, you just can buy crushed tomatoes. I just really like these and I found these and I thought that it sounded really yummy. I like the fire roasted. All right, we've got them in. You know the drill. So, that so you're doing that with both cans? Correct. Here we okay. go. It's all preheated, babe. All preheated. We're gonna do two tablespoons of olive oil. Two onions. Woo! That's a lot of onion. 
Yes, my eyes and nose. Thank you. <laughs> Eight cloves of garlic. I I'm also gonna... freshly squoze those as well. Nice job, babe. How's All that right. new spatula working for I, you? I love it. It is so fantastic. And I'll tell you why. Because we have a lot of wood spatulas. So in the dishwasher, it's not going to get ruined. And then it doesn't have that break right there where all the other ones do, where the water from the dishwasher gets caught. It's just one big piece of greatness. That's our new Thermoworks spatula. I love it. Thank you, Thermoworks. Okay. So you're doing that for five minutes and getting that translucent and soft and yes, smelling sir. delicious? Yeah. We'll just let that go for a few. All right, it's been five minutes, and our onions and our garlic look great. They smell great. So now I'm going to add in our tomatoes. We're still leaving it on the sear saute for right now, okay? Let's marry those little babies together. We have two cups of heavy cream. A half a cup of water, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, the W sauce, two, a half a teaspoon of red pepper flake, or more if you like it a little spicier, and salt and pepper to taste. Mix it up, and then we're going to turn it over to our pressure cooker mode. So, babe, now that you added all those together, we're just going to let it sear saute mode for an additional five minutes while you stir it. That's right. So while that is finishing up the um, sear saute mode, I just wanted to share with you that this little Ninja Foodie cookbook came with it. And it's so fun. And I, I love cookbooks. Uh, I mean, obviously, I go online and I go on YouTube to find recipes, too. But I love a good old-fashioned cookbook. And it came with some really cool stuff. I mean, you can do an entire sandwich in here. You can do an Italian beef sandwich. Buffalo mac and cheese. Salmon with Brussels sprouts. Chicken breast and rice. I mean, there's so like many real... Yes, exactly. And there's another cool one that we're going to um, do in the next couple of days as well that I'm very excited for. So this really just gives you endless possibilities. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it off. And what I actually like about this is we started preheating it when I started getting all of the ingredients together. So it's only been 20 minutes and we already have our soup like practically done. So this is also a quick recipe. So we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna close our lid. We're gonna slide it back over here to pressure on high. For 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. Let's hit start. There you go. And then you need to make sure our little setting on the top is on seal. Setting is on seal. And it is perfect. And then you're ready to roll. Much minutes. easier than the other Ninja Foodie. Oh, babo! <laughs> yes, babe. So the pressure cooker built up. Mm -hmm. It built up pressure, babe. Yeah, under pressure. Don't, we'll get copyright claimed if you sing that. Because I'm so good at singing, I sound like the band? Yes. Yeah. You don't have your apron on anymore. I don't have my glasses on either. Yes. Anyways, so it's all melting. done. you got to release the pressure, babe. Okay, I'm just yeah. putting my little grilled cheese on. Release my pressure. <laughs> oh, oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I always get scared that. <clears throat> okay, now what are you doing now? I'm making little individual um, grilled cheeses. And then we're going to broil these. And then you're also going to put Parmesan cheese on top, right? And then I'm going to put Parmesan cheese, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to move it over to the air fryer mode. We're going to open it up. Oh, boy. How's it looking? It smells amazing. It does smell very tasty. Oh, yeah. All right, so we've pressure cooked it for 10 minutes and I've made these little baby croutons. We'll see if this works. So you cut up some sourdough bread. I cut up sourdough bread. And then you put some aged put cheddar on top of it. aged white cheddar on it. And um, this cheddar is delicious. 
But so. besides the the sourdough and the aged cheddar, you're also going to put so, some Parmesan on top, right? Correct. I am going to do that. And then I'm, we're going to put it on broil mode. Which is the fun part about this thing, too. Which is the all-in-one part, yeah. So then after you spend 900 years putting all those on, <laughs> then you're going to close the lid again, put it on broil for five minutes, and then it'll finally be ready. Yeah. I mean, overall, it's a really quick recipe. Oh, yeah, for sure. These just might you're just soggy before I having a little video. fun right now. We'll put a little Parmesan cheese over the top, and then we're going to broil for five minutes. Don't you think you should just dump all the little pieces on the top or no? Dump all my pieces like yeah. this? I mean, I know I know what you did was all nice and fancy, but... <laughs> that... And now I'm mad. <laughs> I literally just spent 4,000 hours doing that. Okay. So now put some cheese. You got the, you got the aged cheddar. You got <laughs> Holy moly. I spent so much time like a little baby mouse cutting up that cheese. Okay. All right. Let's close it. Broil. Okay. Broil. Five minutes. Five minutes at 450. Start. Let's see what happens. It's been five minutes on broil, and I haven't even seen it yet. So let's see what happens. Ouch. <gasps> it made croutons. There we go. That's, oh, babe. I can hear it sizzling. I smell it. That Bubbling. is. Bubbling. Babe's getting ready for a thumbnail. That looks very good. Smells very good. Uh, those croutons look really yummy. I bet they would have been even better if I had, you know, left the cheese on that I worked so hard on. <laughs> Babe, are you standing on a step stool? Yes. <laughs> are you ready for this? Oh, yeah, this looks really good, babe. Very, very delicious. Let me grab some of these delicious croutons that are no longer grilled cheese croutons. Kind of. Kind of. Okay. Looks good to me, babe. Ready to try a bite? See? Yeah, let's try it. Oh, babe. babe. These, ah! <laughs> these lights are, this is why we don't film at night in the kitchen. And this is why it's harder to film in the kitchen than it is outside because we have the sun above us. It's a little harsh lighting. It's a little harsh lighting. And, and it literally emphasizes my bald head and then people are blinded and they're like, oh no! They're blinded by the light? Yeah, they're blinded by the light. Want me to the... sing another song? No, nope, then we'll get copyright claimed. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we want to say thank you to our top tier channel members. Roll them on up. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Everything that all of you, no matter all of what our channel members, are, yes. donate helps us buy the food and make videos just like this. Yes. So we mm. greatly, greatly appreciate you. Mm. And if you're interested in becoming a member, there's a little join button. Next to the subscribe button. Somewhere around. And there's links below for all kinds of goodness. Yes. Okay, babe, are you ready? I'm ready. But I need a crouton in my bite. Of course you do. Yeah, you babe. Need a crouton with cheese. It's a little baby grilled cheese. It's a little baby. Hold on. I got to show the folks. Oh, boy. This is oh, going yeah. to burn my hand. Oh, it did. Ah. Uh, mm, mama, no. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to burn uh, again. It's going to burn again. It has a crouton. Oh, there it is. There, there it is. Okay, never mind. It's not there. Okay. Cheers. Oh, this is going to burn my face. Mm. Mm. That's cold day goodness right there. Well, that's actually, that's like what it you would order like in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That definitely tastes like what you would get in the store. That's, yeah, no, yeah, that's like a restaurant. A restaurant. That's like a restaurant. Because you know when you order tomato soup in a restaurant, it's like that Cream. fire roasted creamy, and then they put like the bread, the croutons on top of it. Oh my gosh, that's so that good. that that really is. That's like levels and levels and levels above like a can of Campbell's tomato soup. I should hope so. Oh, and leave a comment below. When you guys make a can of Campbell's tomato mm -hmm. soup, do you add one can of soup and one can of water, or one cup of one can of milk? I do milk. Milk, yeah. And I don't even That's like how it. I was taught growing up. Mm -hmm. But you have to. You have to. Because the heavy whipping cream in this is is Yeah. So much. Oh similar. my gosh, this is so good. I'm glad I went with the fire roasted tomatoes. And if you guys remember, we did everything in that little in this thing right here. In we the did the sear saute, we did the pressure cook, we did oh, the broil. Oh yes. Yes, we did. And this we is like something that can just sit on your counter because you're gonna use it for nine hundred different things. Yeah. So mm. That's a jam, babe. That's that's good. That's a good soup. The basil mm -hmm. definitely needed. 
I was a little nervous for all of those onions. Yeah, two uh, two full onions, and believe me, my eyes paid the punishment. For but that. I think what it did is it took down the level of sour and acidic oh, from the tomatoes. From the tomatoes. And it made it just perfect. Yeah, that is. It is so good. Oh. Well, babe, now you have soup for days. That's good. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay. Mmm. 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 All right, babe. Mmm. Say goodbye to the folks. Mmm. With this harsh lighting. Mm. That's good. Oh, that really good. good. All right. Thank, Thank you guys everybody. for watching. We appreciate you. Check out our other videos. It's not only a barbecue channel. Mm -hmm. It's a it's free. A it's a free for style. It's a free for all around here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe right. they should just give us a TV show and follow us around. Yeah. And right. see what it's like on a daily basis. Oh, it's a something on a daily basis. All right. We will see you guys on the next one. Bye. We have like 900 pounds. It's really good though. Mm. Are you scarfing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so good. It really is. It reminds me of the soup that I buy in the store. Like the packaged fresh one, you know? Yeah. That is what it reminds me of. It is so good.